take some questions and comments, I might answer if I feel I have something to contribute. Why, I'll do the calling uh, and um, ask people to, to frame, a, make a point, frame a question succinctly, if I could do that, ask you that. So, I did see a hand a minute ago. Okay, you're first. Yeah, was there a disagreement here? I think you have to speak up. Was there a disagreement here uh, between you two about the possibility of, de of, of defeating ISIS? Yeah. Uh, Fundamental. Yeah, totally. <coughs> Completely. Uh, could you elaborate on that? Uh, well, do you want the right side to talk or the wrong side? I want both, <laughs> both, both sides. <laughs> well, you know, I, like I said, I think the Islamic State is a juggernaut that's being fueled by disillusionment and disappointment among the people who are most easily mobilized in the world, which are young people. And, you know, the estimates are there are about a thousand foreign fighters getting into Syria every week. That's a lot of people. You know, and, you know, they're going to try to crack down on that immigration. And the Turks are going to try to do it. The Syrians, you know, they're going to try to do it. But given the history of smuggling and trafficking in that region, I don't think you can shut that stuff down. And, you know, the Islamic State, do you know how much they pay these foreign fighters, the, the, the guys that actually fight? They pay them 400 euros a week because they robbed all the banks in Mosul and stuff like that. Where is someone in the Middle East going to get make $400 a week? I'm serious. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me ask, say, frame, reframe this question a bit. I asked you earlier, is ISIS worth fighting? That is to say, is this an existential threat that, that requires some kind of, you know, unified, uniform response? And I heard you say, and then I think Ron has a different answer. I think that will help clarify. Ron and I do agree on one thing, which is the sequence of events. To the extent that we believe that the caliphate is the objective, of the Islamic State, then what they're going to go after next is Mecca and Medina, and then Jerusalem. I don't think they really want to go after the United States, except for visual effect, for the optics. If they want a caliphate, they need those three sites. Yeah. Um, I love my friend Vinny, uh, but this is all too complicated. Uh, Putting everything together and in uh, in a single package, tying it to Russia, to China, uh, it, it's it's just too complicated. Uh, it it is with respect to Islamic State, it's not as uh, the problem of dealing with Islamic State is not as uh, put into layers. Think and hidden uh, as uh, as uh, Vinnie is uh, saying, um, I would say uh, that dealing with the Islamic State, um, uh, attacking it is is just uh, something that the United States needs to organize, and I'll, I'll go a little further in this. The United States needs to organize it because no other country can organize it. You know, Vinny, Vinny says we don't understand anything of this. The United States doesn't understand anything of this. I know he's exaggerating. Uh, I think we do understand uh, some of this. And we, uh, we know uh, that uh, other countries' interests are deeply at issue with respect to ISIS. So it, it just seems to me that dealing with ISIS is an issue that can be defined. ISIS is different. It's not just one war among many wars. Uh, other countries don't want uh, the Islamic State to continue to exist. And the coalition is just forming. You, you said in the beginning, well, you had to revise your your interpretation of it because all of a sudden there's a coalition. My thought is, I can't be absolutely sure, but my, my thought is that, that the coalition, whether countries 
want it or not, is so much in their interest that it will form and it is forming. And this may turn out to be one of the uh, one of the foreign policy uh, issues that Obama gets right.